Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day seven of the Lico Day Challenge. Do I have a nope? That's tomorrow with a premium prom. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, 1420, built a way where you can find the maximum exactly K comparisons. Man. What the, what are you doing? I guess that's why nowadays they're just like, oh, be beautiful away. And then they just describe what beautiful means for some like weird definition. Uh, yeah. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's, you know, weekend is looking good. Uh, my hair is really funky. Uh, yeah, I, I'm due for, I, I'm, I'm way due for a haircut. I understand. I'm probably like a couple of weeks later than usual, but, uh, but I'm trying to get a haircut right before my trip instead of, you know, instead of like, because I'm going to be gone for a couple months, so uh, yeah, uh, please don't rob me. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at today's poem and actually read the poem, because what the, what are you doing? What, what is this title? Okay, so you're given three integers N, M, and K, okay? Consider the file algo to uh, find the maximum element of an array of positive integers. Okay, uh, let's see. So, duh, 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 duh. okay, so... Okay, so this just does, uh, okay, so this is like almost, um, so this is a, almost like, uh, the, so we're trying to, I don't know if we're trying to minimize search costs or whatever, but this is just count the number of times uh, the maximum changes, which is, I guess, like, is it longest, or just, yeah, just like number of increasing whatever things, right, uh, of the max, number of max changes. Okay, what is that, now what do we have to do with it? All right, so a way have n elements. Each element is less than or, or between one and m inclusive. Uh, okay, yeah. After applying applying the mentioned algo to R, the y so oh, this is a hard problem. Okay, is you go to k. Okay. Uh, first of all, my 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 my. Let's let's uh let's ooh, typo in the mod would be sad. Uh, yeah, let's kind of. Put in the mod before we forget gotta sing the mod so as i always say all right uh let's kind of do an example i'll go for an example so, so they are duplicate uh numbers uh okay and k is equal to one mm, okay uh yeah the first thing that we should look at for these problems um to be honest is look at constraints because you know you're trying to figure out how brute force maybe memorization as you can get and given that n is equal to 50 m is equal to 100 and this i think this is just a standard dynamic programming problem because the thing that you're trying to keep track of is just um and, and yeah and given these constraints even the the i guess i guess m is the maximum number right <laughs> they couldn't label these before, but, but in any case yeah uh then you have to keep track of how many numbers you use the current max number and then the search cost left, right? And that's pretty much it, and that's your state. And really, you can, uh, yeah, you could do a for loop for it maybe, but you can also, yeah, just do, so I'm gonna write the for loop version and then we'll see. I mean, seems pretty straightforward to be honest. Um, like once you get to it, I mean, you know, in the sense that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh yeah so i mean i think that's for right so count we have uh let's just say n m k right so yeah so if n is equal mm, let's just zero right so i'm just thinking about whether we count up or down but for this particular problem for this particular dimension it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent with what you're doing so i'm going to count down uh then in this case um we ran out of numbers so if k is equal to zero, that means we're also counting down from k and the k left. If uh, if k is equal to zero, then we return one. Otherwise, we return zero, right? Because that means that you still have some k left. Uh, yeah. And then another base case, but it's not really a base case, but it's a shortcut case um, because you don't you could do it without it. But uh, we return zero because that means that we went over. But I think we could just actually add an if statement on the recursion instead, right? So we'll do it that way maybe. And then yeah, and then here is just um, what's it count maybe? Uh, uh, right, something like that. And then basically, um, <clears throat> and then now for each number we really only have. Uh, yeah, so 
let's say you know uh, and I'm, I don't want to get ahead of myself uh, but I, you know I do know what, what I'm gonna do next for, for optimization but the first thing that you want to do is just do it as dumb as possible uh, that's how I try to think about it anyway right so then now for the next number you know that the max number is gonna be M right um, and we have K changes left yeah right and here we want to kick it off just so that we're clear we're gonna kick off N uh, M is M is the current max number, so let's let's just say we can have negative one, uh, or maybe even zero. Let's say zero, just for array indexes reasons, and then k, and then something like that, right? So then now, uh, yeah. So then now the next number, there are only two things, right? So let's say the next number is for x in range of uh, from one to uh, m, right? Inclusive. Right, that means that the k doesn't change because your k is the same, right? So then now we do 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 do, do n minus one uh, x and then k uh, no k doesn't change so that and then we do another one where uh, m plus uh, or just m no m plus one all the way to oh I guess there's two m's right? I think I sorry I, I can I think I can it a few things here. So this is maybe not m is not the right way to say it. maybe let's just do it m x for max. Uh, so that's maybe slightly clearer. That's my fault, actually. I kind of mixed it up. But yeah, from max all the way to uh, eh, this M, right? Inclusive. Uh, then now, uh, this is going to be K minus 1 because you use up 1K because now you, you know. And that's really pretty much it. I mean, of course, you may maybe, you know, you do some mod things in between to kind of keep it in the domain reasonably. And that should be good. I mean, obviously, we have to do memorization next. Uh, and apparently, maybe a little bit more as well. Uh, oh, I forget. I forgot about the K thing, right? So, um, so yeah, if K is greater than zero, then we can do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now slightly better. I think... The, this was what I had uh, in the if statement, but I forgot. Expected zero to, um, why is that? Five numbers, m is equal to two. Why do I have six? <laughs> huh. Do I have like a weird off by, I mean, uh, it's probably intentionally bad off by one, but it's still an off by one. Um, hmm. So the first, I mean, I think my logic should be right, but but um, hmm. Or like the overall logic should be correct, but um, uh, maybe I'm just clearly just seeing a lot of silly mistakes. Uh, okay. Huh. Do 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 have a typo somewhere? Hmm. Why would this be six? Because basically the, the idea is that you can't really switch to, to three because one it should only just be one and two. But maybe I have some like weird thing here. Oh mm, No, this doesn't go beyond it, so it should be okay. Hmm, that's weird, actually. All right, let, let's print it out. I, I thought I could maybe reason about it, but apparently not. So let's kind of print it out real quick, uh, and maybe it'll be obvious. Should be all zeros all the way. Uh, one, one, one. Uh, let's actually go backwards. So then now this is six, y, uh, four, and then the next number is two. Uh, K is two because we used one. How do you get to this state? I mean, this state returns zero, but this should not even be possible. Oh, I guess it is possible if you go from ones uh, or this one going to this one, I guess. But how do you get to here? Um, do I do zeros or anything? No, that, so the core stack should be from here to here. So that means that uh, the next number Oh, 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 I see, I see. Uh, because this doesn't change the X. Okay, yeah. So we don't change the max here because uh, uh, that's just silly. 
because it doesn't go over the max so my states were wrong uh but yeah after kind of fixing that should be okay of course this is gonna be too slow even though the constraints aren't that big but you know it, it is some like combinatorical thing right so uh, let's just say 50 i guess and this will probably time out uh and the first thing we should do of course is memorization right Okay, yeah. I actually thought that maybe you could have done some like multiplication here, but now maybe I think I'm wrong. Uh, hmm, maybe this is it. Maybe maybe that is not what I was thinking about. But we we should still do memorization anyway. So uh, so yeah, the way that I always do is just has cache, and the dimensions that we look at is that n can go from zero to n inclusive, uh, at max can go from zero to m inclusive, and k can go from zero to k inclusive. Uh, and yeah that's pretty much it right and we do all of uh max of each of these so yeah and you can actually kind of write this in one loop i guess but eh, whatever uh yeah so each input takes all of uh m time so this is going to be o of n times m times k times m time uh this is kind of awkward but, you know, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's just say we have k in the middle or at the end for duh, 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 duh. uh, was it m? And this is small k. Yeah. Uh, n plus one, right? And then it, you know, the same way that we have always done it. If you've been, uh, you know, if you've seen this stream before, uh, except for that, I kind of messed up here. But okay, fine. Uh, I mean, not not, not that much of a word here. If I could type correctly, anyway. But yeah, as you can see, mostly straightforward. Though, of course, uh, you see to make silly mistakes like for for this one. And kind of had to debug it, which is kind of sad actually. But but uh, it is what it is sometimes. When you're old and sloppy, uh, it does happen. Uh, uh, okay. Did I miss the thing? I guess I missed the thing. Well, I missed typing four. For sure. Did I not cache? Why does it take so long? Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think. Why does this take so long? Looks okay. Uh, what is M again? M is 100. 100 square is 10,000. Times 50 is 500k. So like times 50 is uh, 25 mil. I guess that's why it's a little bit slow. Can I make an optimization here? Hmm. I mean, there are stuff like like space optimization and doing it bottoms up. But I don't know. Let me just give it a submit. Maybe it times out. Um, but there's also another thing that you could have done. Uh, apparently, that's weird. That this actually this one time is slow or uh, is faster than my 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 other one time. But I think the other there are a couple of optimizations you can make as well. Uh, yeah, note that in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I think the bottoms up one is, is the easiest one, and then you kind of could uh, remove one of the dimensions for sure, uh, probably the n, and then you know that should make it at least you know uh, you know fifty times on the allocation. Because the thing with that is usually like um, yeah maybe memory finding is not a big deal. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's why for this one, uh, what did I do last time? I guess I did the same except for you cash. Did I do it during contest maybe probably? Uh, but this seems pretty reasonable. Uh, this actually is, I, I used better naming that time around. Uh, definitely check that out. I, I think this is, I think I solved this during a contest though. Uh, but that was a long time ago. How was everything three years ago? How does time even work? I don't know what's going on. I am going to take a nap. So let me know what you think about this problem. Let me know what you think about uh, the explanation. Hopefully this makes sense. I think the, 
I think everything here is basically, to be honest, and I hope I don't, you know, diminish it in any way or minimize it. Uh, it it's not easy to see per se, uh, and they kind of give like a lot of obfuscation, uh, uh, obfuscation. Uh, I, mean, I can't. I don't know. I'm saying that one with this thing, but th this is actually a pretty easy to read function. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is just getting this part right about updating the max. And for re some reason, I updated before, you know. But uh, but yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me see if there's a quick editorial. Is there? A... Okay. Uh, this is basically the way that I had it. I was wondering if the and this is uh, bottoms up and this is space optimization. Oh yeah. Uh, but I I just I was wondering if there's anything like cooler about it. Uh hmm. Prefix sum. And what is going on here? Not sure about that one, but apparently there's some like uh, really good optimizations here uh, with prefix sum. How would I think about it if I now that let's say I got a hint about prefix sum and don't know it? How would I uh, think about it? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to think about it another time. Today's a little bit lazy. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.